Uh, Simon, before you answer that. Appearing before the Parliamentary Committee on Appointments in the morning, outgoing Labour CS Simon Chilgui was pressured to give explanations on the prevailing abuses facing Kenyan migrants working in the Middle East. Many of these people... Chelugui mounting a spirited defense while accusing authorities in Gulf countries of not giving satisfactory explanations over the death and atrocities committed against the Kenyan migrant workers. We've been told these people were in default, were in breach of the laws of that country, but they were taken to a, a rescue center or rather deportation center where they either starved or they were sick. He also called for an increase in the number of labor attaches in the Middle East to help curb mistreatment and killings of Kenyans who seek employment in Arab countries. Specifically, the country we're talking about is three times or four times Kenya. And uh, one labor attache is not enough. It's not able to deal with these issues. Then came the afternoon session from Makericho County woman rep Florence Bore, who is Ruto's nominee for the Ministry of Labor faced the same questions. Where are they going? You know, so they see the suffering. They see a, a, a lady has come back in a, you know, as a dead and they are still going. Bore choosing to fall back on the same responses given by her predecessor, where she blamed the lack of sufficient interventions on the shortage of staff in embassies abroad. It is also good for us to open up markets, more markets than Saudi Arabia be able to uh, do bilateral labor agreements with other countries which don't have to rely on Saudi Arabia alone. She would later go on to provide a list of recommendations to the panel, including tightening regulations on the employment agencies. And I want to promise that I'll get to the bottom of this issue. And this issue has led to many deaths. When you talk about 62 deaths just this year, but some of her answers did not sit well with several members of the vetting committee who felt that she was not being elaborate enough as required. Hold the Saudi Arabian government to account because we have Saudi Arabians in Kenya, but they don't end up dead. Mm -hmm. But our children are ending up dead. So that is the issue. It doesn't matter how many committees or how many officers we send to Saudi Arabia. If this committee approves you, you have to really think of the, uh, on the issue of unemployment. You should do much more than that in case you are going to be um, a, meter, uh, a minister. Don't just jump on a plane to go. <laughs> have serious consultations internally. These so-called agents who license them, how many are they? The CS nominee would also recommend for the adoption of a migrant workers management bill by parliament, a review of bilateral labor agreements, a centralized communication platform for Kenyans living abroad, construction of safe houses in Gulf countries, and a mandatory prepping of Kenyans seeking to work abroad. They should also have some cover for medical, because it looks like when they are in problems, they are in health issues, they have health issues, they are not treated well, and they suffer. And finally, the secretary to the cabinet, nominee Masi Wanjao, will take her place before the vetting panel. I wish to indicate that I resonate deeply with an economic transformation agenda that recognizes that when the tide rises, it rises for all. With the vetting process now complete, it's a matter of wait and see as they retreat to compile their recommendations. David Kagina, K24.